not all Sherpas are climbers and certainly not uh, there to just carry your stuff, so to speak. And, and I share that because uh, over the years, I learned not only about the Sherpa community and kind of the meaning, but I've gotten to know uh, one Sherpa in particular who I've built a friendship with over the last 20 years. As I mentioned, his name is Karma Sherpa. Um, we have been in touch uh, since that time we met in 1998, and then he moved uh, to Boulder, Colorado uh, of over 15 years ago, where just this last week, his home uh, that he and his wife and two young children live in was destroyed by the recent fires Oh, and uh, completely destroyed. So uh, they're in a hotel right now. They're trying to figure out a place to go, you know, to stay with the kids. And I set up a GoFundMe page, which hopefully, Paul, you can put on the screen here or link in the comments and uh, trying to help raise some money for Karma and his family uh, to be able to move forward. And uh, it's it's interesting, you know, it's, it's obviously heartbreaking um, to see a tragedy like this. But I will say that it's remarkable. I spoke to Karma uh, a couple of days ago, and he is just like he continues to amaze me with his positivity, which I know is a lot about what Paul, your audience appreciates. Um, he continues to teach me about, you know, staying positive, uh, moving forward, recognizing that things constantly change in the world, um, understanding the importance of, you know, safety and family much more than possessions and material things. And uh, he's an inspiration. And so I, I want to help him. And if others can help, that would be great. Music.